Hi guys, and today I wanted to bring you along for a little unique recipe. It's not something that um, you see every day, and this is, yes, another soup recipe. It has been cold. I have been under the weather, and I just, I don't know, soup's comforting to me, and I don't actually have time to actually rest because I'm a mother of two twin babies and a toddler. So, this is my comforting and relaxation. Uh, but today we are going to make jalapeno popper soup. And this is a, uh, it's not a healthy, healthy soup. You can hear my toddler in the background throwing me off my game. Uh, it's not a healthy soup, so if you're watching your figure, then this is not the soup for you. Dante, not so loud, please. Um, he just got all his toys. Well, he has all his toys from Christmas still scattered all throughout his room, and that's what he's playing with. Um, but this is a jalapeno popper soup. It is so good, guys. So good. Um, and there's really nothing to it. It is just one of those creamy, delicious soups. And since I am feeling under the weather, it's spicy. And so I'm going to use the spice to my, my benefit. And hopefully it will help my uh, congestion a little. So at the bottom of my pan, I have a stick of butter. So I have a cup of butter. And then to that, I am adding one medium yellow onion, uh, two ribs of celery, five cloves of garlic, and four, no, three large jalapeno peppers, okay? And we are going to let this, um, let these vegetables sweat out a little, give it a little stir, and then we're going to add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Well, a lot of pepper. Probably half a teaspoon of pepper. Not a lot of salt though because I'm going to have to be using a uh, chicken base. And it's salty. So, I don't want to make it too salty. Uh, so, we're going to let this sweat. And I will bring you back for the next step. Okay. So this is sweated for about uh, about 10 minutes. And so to this, we're going to add about a half a cup of flour. I told you, it's not something where you're watching your figure, but so worth it. And this soup is going to be all mine because, uh, of course, the kids, well, two kids aren't eating anything, but my toddler doesn't like spicy and my husband isn't super big on soup so this is going to be all mine so to that half a cup all we're doing is we're going to let that um, flour soak up all the butter that we put in there and let the flour taste cook off a little about two minutes And you want to keep stirring it because you don't want that flour to burn. And it already smells so good. Those jalapenos. I tried, um, I have a fourth jalapeno that's um, just thinly sliced that I'm going to put in at the end. And I tried one and it is a potent, potent pepper. And you can smell it, but I don't care. That's how I want it. I want it to be potent. So. To this, we are going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth. And I'm using a mason jar to measure. <laughs> I'm feeling really lazy today, but it has the measurements on it, so. A cup and a half, and that's going to be chicken base. I just got to get it out of the fridge. 
Okay. Get some. Ooh. Ooh. Get off my ear. Alright. So add in our base. Let's stir that around. Get that all incorporated. And we are going to puree this at the end, so it's going to be really smooth. Go ahead and add another. I'm going to add another half a cup, just because it's a little, little thick. And we are adding cream, too. So there's our broth. Now let me get the cream out. Another reason I'm making this is I need to use my cream up, so I'm using it in a bunch of different recipes. And we want about a cup, cup and a half of cream. Now if you did want to lighten this up, you could use half and half or just straight milk. I want, it already has a half a cup of butter in it, so I like the taste of cream, and that's how I'm going to do it. It's not the first of the year yet, so we can still splurge a little. Plus, when you're not feeling well, it's best to, you know, indulge a little bit, make yourself feel better. Okay, so this right now, we are going to let it simmer for 30 minutes and make sure all of our vegetables are good and tender and then um, we're gonna put our cream cheese in and immersion blend it and then it is done that's how simple it is guys so I'll bring you back after this is simmered for a bit alrighty so this is gone for 30 minutes on a low simmer you can see it's not um, going too vigorously and now we're going to puree it and then add in our uh, cream cheese and I am just using a block of cream cheese first let's get this blended up okay that's good enough for me I'm the only one eating it and honestly I'm going to be putting in little slices of pepper anyway and I may give it a good little juge after uh, the cream cheese melts in it. So, now we're just going to add in our block of cream cheese and we're going to keep it on a low simmer and let that melt in and incorporate and then give it a little taste test to make sure it doesn't need anything and then we are good to go and we can have our soup for lunch. Okay, here it is. Uh, the cream cheese melted. I tasted it and it did not need anything. The soup is completely pureed. Um, and then I added in fresh, just one jalapeno that I sliced. And I added it to the whole bowl. I just put extra in mine. Um, so I will give you a taste test and tell you what I think, even though I know it smells so delicious already. Mmm. That is so good. It has a kick. <coughs> it has a big kick. Because I left in um, the seeds and ribs of, t well, two of the um, jalapenos. But that's what I wanted. I wanted it extra spicy. But you have the creaminess from the cream cheese and the cream. And then you have the subtle hint of the garlic and onion and then BAM jalapeno in your face but this stuff tastes amazing it is exactly what I needed so I am going to get off here and eat my soup I hope you guys enjoy this video try it out for yourself um, subscribe if you want more delicious recipes um, or whatever I'm doing around the house at the time and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Alright, thanks for watching.